morning to you ladies, my name is Jacksepticeye and welcome to Assassin's Creed Origins. I've been playing this game to death since it came out. I didn't think I was going to like it at all. They showed it off at E3, I rolled my eyes at it because I thought, oh god, another Assassin's Creed, really? And then I saw some of the footage of it and I thought it looked really bad. And then I, then I decided to give it a shot anyway, just, just to see if they actually learned anything. Because they were doing Assassin's Creed every single year. And then they took a year off, and then they did this one. So I was like, okay, maybe some stuff are different, they keep saying that stuff is different. And I fucking love it. I've been obsessed with it, I've played it for like... I think I've played it for like 12 hours at this point. May, ju just over 10 hours, anyway, at least. Um, and it's just so good. As you can see, standing on top of my very own pyramid here. Yes, these are the pyramids of Giza. I am actually in Giza right now. Well, I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. In the Egyptian language, um, but it's just so much fun. There's so much to explore in this game, and they completely changed- wait, hold on. Ah! Let's go skate. I'll tell you a little story as we're going down inside, inside of this here pyramid. Oh, wee! Uh, so they completely changed a lot of the mechanics in the game. It's, it's kind of like an RPG now. It reminds me a lot of Far Cry, actually. It's kind of Far Cry meets The Witcher 3. In a way, it feels very different than other Assassin's Creed games, but it feels very similar at the same time. A lot of the stuff they've changed, a lot of the free running now is all completely simplified. You just hold forward and you run consistently now, you don't have to hold like right trigger to sprint. And then you just hold A to climb up stuff. If, if anything actually, you just press A to start climbing and then you hold forward just to go up all the, the buildings and everything. It's really fun! I like it a lot, and the combat's all different. You can see in the top right now I have a level. You, you, you gain levels and then you can go in here and you can go into your abilities and you get all these different abilities that you can unlock. Again, very, very far cry. You can upgrade some of your materials, you can upgrade like your, your arm, your, your hidden blade, you can upgrade your armor, your, just, your packs, the stuff that you can carry. There's a lot of different stuff. It's very, very fun. I'm not really selling it right now, so we're gonna go off and do a mission. I don't really know what I'm doing. Um, but yeah, I've played a lot of the game so far. And I... I haven't liked an Assassin's Creed since 2. Assassin's Creed 2, I absolutely loved. It was one of the best games ever when it came out. And then... Assassin's Creed Brotherhood came out, it was kind of the same. It was a little better in some instances. I didn't really like it all that much. Um, find Marcus the Scholar. Okay, I think we can do that. That's all the way over there, though. Um, and then I liked Assassin's Creed Black Flag, but only for the ship parts. And then after I got bored of that, after a few hours, it was just more Assassin's Creed, so I didn't really like that all that much. Here, give me a little horse. Hey, what's up, Sp what's up, Freckles? I call my horse Freckles because it's all, um, spotted. And it's very cute. And normally I would just fast travel to this place, but I want to show off some of the map. It's super pretty. And when you're out during the day in the desert, and it's really warm, you can see all the like, the warp effect go on, but then you start seeing mirages. I was flying along on my horse at one point, and then all of a sudden a fish fell out of the sky and landed in front of me. And I went over to inspect it, and it just disappeared. And then a cloth went through the air. And then a meteor I saw fly through the sky, and I don't know if that was real or not. Because then I started to go into a sandstorm, which was very real, so... Lots of really weird shit, but I don't know, man. I'm just having a really good time playing this game. I love the architecture in this game, though. Everything's super pretty. Because it's all covered in, like, hieroglyphics and painted images. I mean, this stuff is all the exact same, so that that's very Assassin's Creed. Oh, oh, sorry, Freckles. Sorry. Oh, easy, boy. Easy does it. But they finally got stealth right in the games. Which I feel like has always been lacking in the Assassin's Creed. Like, Assassin's Creed 2, the idea of stealth was just not, like, you would just turn your back, or turn the enemies back to you, and then walk towards them. Whereas now you actually have a crouch and you can sneak around and different things like that. Which I really like. Whoa. And I'm not usually a fan of desert settings, but look at this shit! It's gorgeous! What saw me? Ow! Ah, oh, shit, I have no arrows. That's bad. I would, I would, I would desperately like some arrows because I have two bows. One of my bows is a super sneaky stealthy bow. And you can fire at guys from miles away, it's like a sniper rifle. And then the other one fires five arrows at once. And then that makes people bleed. And then they die really quick. It's very fun. So I have to protect this guy. Okay. I'm a coming buddy! The cavalry's on its way! 
Literally, I'm on a horse. Oh, it'd be so cool if I could jump out over this and stab him. I mean, I kind of did. Hey, I did it, fella. What's going on? What do you want? Did he just? <laughs> Oh, this is a, an aspect of the game as well. I've got a bird called Senu. Is this it? Yeah, I had a feeling. I have a bird called Senu that's actually always in the sky. Like, that that eagle is always in the air with you, which I find very impressive. Um, and then I could use the eagle to try and, like, scan the area, and sometimes it kind of feels like cheating, but I mean... The game's pretty big, and I want to stealth like a ninja, so... I need Senu to help me. Mind me, just gonna climb this pyramid real quick. You, you, you guys, you guys mind if I climb a pyramid real quick? No, it's pretty cool, right? Let's go inside a pyramid. I haven't been in a pyramid. Sneaky pharaohs with their hidden tomb doors. I love this kind of plundering that I'm doing. Like actually sneaking in. I feel like Indiana Jones or light it on fire. Actually, yeah, I just feel exactly like Indiana Jones. We're doing- we're doing a puzzle, apparently. I have to put down a counterweight to keep this thing down. And then, can I do this? Are you the artifact? Okay, okay, I get it. I was supposed to put the weights on that thing. Got it. D guys? Guys, don't worry! I've got it now! Then I need to go put these bad boys on this duder. Need more of these heavy boys. Oh. I don't know how my guy jumps with these. My guy is made out of pure fuel. Oh, that's not gonna work. Oh, bada bada da bada. Drop it down. No. Wait! The artifact was this? So. Oh. Oh. So all this time I was. I thought that was just like a little bonus thing. All this time, I was in here trying to figure out a fucking puzzle by putting shit on top of shit. I wanna go kill dudes! What is up, sir? Good to see you. I am a snake in the rushes. Just hold on a sec, sir. If I can just get out of this, there we go. And assassinate! Ah, yes! Okay, one down, billion to go. Well, you know what? Ah, shit, I don't have any arrows still. Ah! Stab him and leave him. No, 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 no. People will see him there. I guess I could just put you over here. Agent rushes. There we go. Alrighty. Alrighty. Are you on your own? If you're on your own, I can kill you real nice. At least I think I can. There we go. <laughs> I don't know how to deal with these guys because you can't double kill. You can't double assassinate. So, hold on, hold on. Me has idea. Sleep darts. Hey now. Hey now. Hey now. Don't dream it's over. Hey now. Hey now. Just have a neck between us. <laughs> They're dead now. Because of me. I did that. I'm a powerful warrior. Okay, you're on your own, and you're gonna be a big bad, because normally, normally anything like level 21 or thereabouts, I can just headshot and they'll die. But this guy, no bueno. Okay, okay, super arrows, watch this! Five arrows! That's why they call me Five Arrow Jack, and now he's bleeding, gradually, slowly. <laughs> die, bitch! It's like magic. <laughs> Makes you feel so badass. You just you just walk into a, a region, take it all out, all sneaky like, and then you're the one who king. Did you drop anything? You did. Hey, I'm gonna back, go back and speak to Mercedes, um, and then get all my exp. I haven't been listening to any of the story in this game. Anything that's been happening in it, I just keep skipping. Cuz I'm like I want to play. I don't care about your fucking dead son He is he is a dead son. Oh, mr. Horse. Mr. Horse. What are you doing? This is in Skyrim You can't do that sir. It's illegal levitating horse 
the anti-grav horses of the future! So glad I have you, Freckles. You're a good horse. So I want to do what my favorite thing to do in this game is... My god, look at this. Look how pretty. Ooh. Oh, it's so gorgeous to look at. I like the little dust and sand and everything that kicks up every now and then. But my favorite thing to do in this game is to take over bases. Because these, these are like the little playgrounds that you get to get into. And you can use Senu, your little bird friend. Who's always following you. Wait, where is he? Should be around. Yeah, there he is. So that bird's always above you in the game. And then if I change to him, I'm actually in that version of the, the character. Which I think is really neat. Normally the characters just kind of spawn in whenever you need them. But this guy has, like, he's always around. I really like that. So I want to take over this base. But I got to scan for bad guys first. And that's when Senu comes in. Senu's my little bird friend. Can you find treasure? There's treasure here somewhere. Haha! -ha! It's treasure, all right. Um, oh, there's fucking guys everywhere. Oh, more treasure. There's a bad guy. There's a bad guy. So, oh, you guys are sparring. I thought you were killing each other. Jesus. So to take over a base, I have to do a few things. I should be cautious around. Kill a captain, kill a commander, and loot two treasures. Two treasures are highlighted, and two yellow dudes are highlighted. Okay, it's time to go to work and have some fucking fun. Fuck. You weren't supposed to see me. Now bleed for me. Bleed for Jack. Bleed for me, boy. Are, are you bleeding? You're not bleeding. Okay. I just kicked the shit out of you that way then. Okay. Off to a bad start. I normally just like to take out everybody stealthily. Sometimes that doesn't always go to plan, though. Sometimes you gotta have a backup. Sometimes you gotta action man plan. Okay. Okay. Sneaky. Sneaky. Assassinate. <laughs> that, that shit is very... Old school Assassin's Creed, like ever since the first games, that stuff has been in it. I love it. Makes you feel like a predator. Makes you feel all powerful. The sun is shining in my face. It's a little bright, guys. Can someone turn down the sun? Oh, don't spot me! 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 Die for me! Oh God, that's just insult to injury. He clotheslining him. Sneaking. Killing. Kill! <laughs> wait, wait. Shh. Shh. Go to sleep. And good night. And you're the sly in the grasses. <laughs> Alright, so. Now if I get this treasure, I only have to kill the two dudes. Hey! He heard that one. You just gotta whistle louder when they don't hear you. What are you doing, buddy boy? What are you doing? You wanna Ooh. die? Ooh. Yeah! When you start off the game, you can't actually assassinate those guys. You have to usually get into a fight because you're not strong enough. My guy's mega strong. Okay. For Tito Quente over here, I'm just gonna... Oh, very nice! Wait, could I... How much damage do I do to you? Oh, I can almost kill you with it. Okay, he's the last enemy. Ah! Fuck! Ow, my ankle! Gee, ow! Ooh, I just had that ankle installed. Well, that's one way to break it in. Can I actually assassinate you? Yes! Haha! <laughs> Normally you can only do sneak attacks against them. Whoa, I got a... I got a cool bow. Does that level up? Baby! Okay, I got I got a level up, so I have two ability points. What can I get? There's a lot of stuff that I don't want. I don't really care about. You can do an overpowered attack and get some EXP. You can hijack someone's horse. You can jump through the air and stab. Which sounds cool, but it's basically useless to me. Um... Oh, I can get a Hans Predator bow. <gasps> yeah, this is the one I wanted! I wanted this ages ago! So now, I wonder if I can just do it... Basically. No. Um, oh, I have to hold it. <laughs> so now I can actually control my arrows. Where are you fucking vulture? Oh! No, I'm not gonna give you- I'm not gonna give you the satisfaction of hitting you with an arrow. I'm just gonna stab the shit out of you on my turf. Shouldn't have come here. 
I don't just have depression. I have Katara depression. <laughs> I have to find a place where it has because all these red things are where you can like. Where are they? I'm going around here. All these red icons are the things. Where are they? Oh, there they are. Are the things you can do, but I have like all of them done. <laughs> I told you they were my favorite thing. Okay, I want to see what's in the Katara depression. I want to see just how depressed Katara is. Uh oh, sandstorm. It's over in the depression. Of course it is. My God, this is cool. This is like a whole country in a game. It's so fun to just explore. How how wild are you all feeling right now? You all, you all feeling good? Because I'm going straight through a fucking sandstorm, baby. I hope you guys are all ready for it. Oh, everything's all red and pretty. I don't fear you. I'm in the Katara depression. Let's keep my mouth closed. Nothing you do to me can overcome my Katara depression. Well, you, everything's all piss color. It's gross. I don't like it. Still battling through, though. Oh, I don't even have any Peaky Blinders on my little horse. Sorry. But hey, we made it out of life. Sandstorm ain't got nothing on us. Oh, Jesus. Ow. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> sure, I'm glad I uncovered this area. Big old fucking pile of nothing in it. Here we have the rare African lion. Just sitting about right next to an antelope. Not really doing anything. Never mind. He's dead. He's actually sitting next to his dinner. And now, the great beast will be overcome by another great beast. Man, bitch! Oh, oh, shit. Oh, God, there's two of them. Oh, there's more than two. Oh, fuck. It's okay. I'm a fucking lion-killing machine right now. Okay, you need, you need a stronger touch. There you go. Are you bleeding? Okay. Yeah, bleed for me. Bleed all over this land. Bleed, let me smell your fear. Thanks. Appreciate it. Ooh, now I get me some pelts. Uh, ooh, the pelts were nice for my tool pouch. That's pretty good. Oh, God, are you going to attack him? Oh, yeah. Go at it, dudes. The eagle's just going to come and attack this. <laughs> the eagle doesn't even do anything. Good. N Mother nature. Everything's going all wild and crazy right now. Who's the victor? Did you win? Okay. <laughs> Turns out man is the most evil of all the creatures. <laughs> oh, that was funny. Ah, thief in the night. Ah, good morning, freckles. Out for another jaunt through the countryside. It's a beautiful day out today. The sun is rising. It's just the peak of the morning where it's all crisp. And glorious, and also, god damn, it's gorgeous. I love just. <laughs> I've been I've been at this video for almost an hour and a half, and I've just been exploring, just going around on my own. I'm with my little horse, exploring the region and getting to know the place. And then the sun starts rising, and everything starts getting an orange glow to it. Makes me feel all happy. Oh, thank God, this is shallow enough. Ooh, Crocodilus! Ooh, don't get caught by him! Okay, is this a base that we can overtake? I don't know. Freckles! Desist! Here we go. Here's a fucking base to take over. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. The red skulls are, like, super bad. That means that the character... The Means the NPCs are way too strong for me to overcome. Where's this last thing that I'm looking for? Over there. Ah, oh, Jesus, there's fucking more guys all over, over that way. I don't even think that I can, um... Oh, my God. I barely even do any fucking damage. Ah, they will attack on sight here. Oh, they sure will. And even worse, let's see. Let's see how much my sneak attack will do. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. 
I'm gonna just do that kind of joke? and run. Oh, Jesus. Oh my god, what? He almost one shot me. Don't hit me! Don't hit me! I'm a nice boy! I mean, I stabbed you, but. All the nicest boys stab! Okay, there's my horse. Is he still chasing me? Oh, he's an angry man. You swear he pissed on your lawn or something. Bye. He's fucking throwing spears at me! Go, freckles! Fly away, birds! Fly away! Bad things are happening over here! Oh, God, now there's a hippo chasing me! <laughs> what are you guys doing? I'm assassinating you! Come here! Hey, hold on. Okay, I got some bronze! Nice, I needed that. Oh, Christ. Oh, there's a lot of you. Oh, why? Okay, now there's less of you. Get ready, bitches! I'm angry! And when I get angry, I get... Very, very quick and stabby! Oh god, you got the worst of it. Sorry, dude. <laughs> He's just like, hey, no problem, I'm dead, whatever. It's cool, you wanna go get a drink? Now that that's dealt with, let's get out of here, freckles. Wait, wait! You're, you're not freckles! You're an, you're an imposter horse! You're an imposter! Get, get out of here! Freaking stupid horse, where's freckles? Because here you are, my boy. Very nice, fucking freaking imposters. I'm sorry, Freckles. I didn't mean it. Don't tell him. He, d he doesn't know. He's just a horse. He doesn't. He doesn't know. He doesn't got brains. Oh God! I'm I'm being ambushed. I'm being ambushed. Clever girl. Okay. You 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 want to do this? You want to do this? Okay. There. Now you're on fire. I don't think anyone likes being on fire. Shouldn't have fucking come in my house, should you? <laughs> okay, I don't think he deserved something quite as bad as that, but I'm into it. That is it! Anger man! Time to kick some ass! Yeah! Fuck yeah, look at me go! Look at me go! Did he die of bleeding? Did I do that? Oh god, I'm covered in blood. <laughs> There's more guys. That's it. I'm over here stabbing, killing. Your friends are out here risking life and limb just to afford you that life of being able to sit around your fucking arse. Hmm. I want to do this in a cool way. I want to be a badass. I want to do it in the way that all the people in the playground are going to be impressed. He's sleeping! Oh wait! He fucking dead, yo! Nice! Are you all impressed? Come on, admit it! You're a little impressed, I see it in your eyes. Sneaking. Oh, why did you jump down? I mean, it worked out, but Jesus! Look at that! Isn't that cool? Just seeing pyramids all around the place. It's like little pyramids over there. But then, are these... Yeah, those are the, the Giza ones, yeah? Yeah. Those are the Great Pyramids. The one that everybody knows and loves. Oh yes, this is a base right here. This is a base for my face. Okay, this is a big one, Jesus Christ. You guys are all well within the realms of killability. That's what I look for in a, in a bad guy. Killability. And I also like that using the eagle, or Senu, if, I think he might be a falcon, not an eagle. But I like using the bird is... Sure, it can be OP, because you're able to just go like this and scan everything and see people through walls and all that shit. But it's not using... It's a different way of using eagle vision than what they used to use before. Which not only is really clever, also, die, but... It's also to the point where it's not super overpowered that you just, like, send out a blast wave and then you're able to see everything. Or you walk in on your own, like, I can see them through the walls now, but only if I use the bird. So there's a nice balance to it. It doesn't feel like it's super overpowered. It makes it feel like... Uh... Whoa! Nice. Oh, I forgot I had the thing! <gasps> Hi, bad guy! Hi! What are you doing? You taking a piss? He was just checking his own pulse. I trust you. Oh fuck. 
Uh, hide, 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 hide. There's a bad guy over there as well. Why don't you come over here, bad guy? I got a special surprise for you. It's ice cream. If you want it, you're gonna have to come quick. Haha, <laughs> I lied about the ice cream. Oh, that was fucking tasty. Okay, let's, let's, oh god, who's spotting me? Who's spotting me? No, come back. Is it because this douchebag said I was here? He doesn't even know I'm here. He's just guessing. Oh yeah, I need to find the braziers. That's trouble. And not not the not the braziers, as in the braz. I'm talking about the 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 fire things, like the beacons of Gondor. So people set them on fire and then they come looking for you. Nope, 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 you didn't see me. You didn't see- ah! What are you doing? <laughs> I love how you can just stick them with a sleep dart. And then they're just like, oh, I'm asleep now. It doesn't last very long either. <laughs> just like, and you just go up and stick your, stick your knife to his face. Just, ah, there you go. Now you're dead. You can just hit normally. I knew I could just hit normally. Jeez, I'm a fucking badass! But I want to use my super arrow thing. Could I fire it at you all the way over there? Oh, I fucking could. What the fuck? I didn't even hit any buttons! He was aiming right for his head already! Why did it suddenly just go? <laughs> Son of a dick! I should have just done that! My god, this bow is insane! <laughs> Jesus Christ, you can kill them from miles away! Also, you can go close to this and then you can set your arrows on fire. It's pretty badass. Pro tip, you can set your arrows on fire. I can just stay up here and kill everybody. Well, no I can't. Because now I'm out of arrows. <laughs> They're like, what the fuck? What? What hit ya? Larry, are you all right? Nope, he's dead, y'all. Okay, watch this. Bare fucking hands. Oh no, no cloth for me. No zipline rope, no nothing. Bare hands. You know why? Because my hands are made out of hippos. Made out of hippo skin. My, my hands are like a fine tarp. Okay, I got an arrow back. Actually, I got a shit ton of arrows back. Yes! That feels real nice! Watch! Oh! <laughs> That's so fun! I mean, makes no fucking sense. Completely ridiculous. But you know what? So are superheroes. And no one gives them shit. I'm basically a superhero now. Fighting crime. Robbing from the rich. Giving to me. That was Robin Hood's mistake. Robin Hood robbed from the rich and gave to the poor. Robin Hood would have just been better off if he just robbed from the rich and gave to himself. And then just threw a party for all the poor people. And you know, gave them all mopeds. They would have loved that. Robin Hood, he just doesn't get it. Missed opportunity. Can I? Oh! Did that, did that kill you? I don't know if that killed you. I'm in a fucking bush, apparently. Oh, wait a minute, indeed. Wait a minute until your face explodes! Sorry about that, though. Seriously, sorry sorry about the whole face killing. <laughs> Game of Thrones, yeah! Game of Thrones, yeah! Game of Thrones, yeah! Game of Thrones, yeah! Sorry, the music just reminds me of Game of Thrones sometimes. And, uh... Whoop! And, uh... Whoop! And, uh... Oh... Sneaky little hobbits. Can I... I can fucking assassinate ya! No problem! Oh shit, I didn't chain assassinate. Oh! Oh shit! Oh! Damn, do I make that look good! Holy fuck, I fired it at him! Not only that, but I got set on fire on the way there. Literally fired it at him. That was amazing. I also need to find a last treasure. Last treasure? There you are. Last treasure. The last treasure for me. 
You guys will never know about the last treasures. Because because you're dead. I have to go all the way into the caves. Oh, spooky. I like it. Spooky, scary cave dwelling. Send shivers. To Whoa. Hmm. Here it is. The last treasure for me. It's carbon crystal. I don't know what I need that for. I think I might need it for end game upgrades. Right now, don't really do a whole lot for me. Ah, smell that. Smell that open air. You know what that smells like? That smells like a job well done. All right, well I'm gonna leave this episode of Assassin's Creed here. My God, this game is fun. Super fun. Hopefully you can see why I like it so much now. And hopefully for any of you who do, because I had a lot of people talk about it and wonder if it was any good. Because I, I mentioned it on Twitter or something, and people didn't know if they should buy it because they didn't like the other Assassin's Creed games. As I said, I don't like the other ones either. Oh! But this one is fun. Are you- are you transporting anything? Hey, wait! Uh, what? What? You want- Oh! Oh, you want to go? I mean, I was in the middle of an outro, but I mean, I can fucking kill you no problem if you want. What do you have? Fucking money. Do I look like a man that needs money? I'm a man that needs cool gear and loot and shit. Oh, I'm angry! You just fucking bled out anyway. Can't even die properly. Anyway, as I was saying, game is super fun. And I, I hope that that showcases some of the reasons why I think it's so fun. The story and all that, I still don't really care about. I think they still haven't capitalized on the whole Ezio era of Assassin's Creed. Even Ezio in Brotherhood and Revelations I didn't like. It's like, it's very hard to, to do a good story in a game like this, but the location in this is fun. The gameplay is the best that Assassin's Creed has ever been, mainly because it doesn't feel like Assassin's Creed anymore. And I know that sounds harsh, but I don't know. They, th these games have been, have always been ones that I really, really want to love because they have so much potential. And I feel like they always squander it. There's always some stuff in it that's just nonsense and I don't like. And the animus stuff is kept to a, an absolute bare minimum in this one. Look at my Senu. Look at my little eagle. Falcon. He's so cool. Are you an eagle? Are you a falcon? We may never know. I think you're a falcon. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you liked it, punch the like button in the face! Like a boss! And... I hope he's all right. Whoosh! Whoosh! Thank you guys, I will see all you dudes in the next video! Man, it feels like I was trying to sell the game to you. I'm not sponsored or anything, I just really like it.